lobby group Amandla Mobi has welcomed the move, but it's also disappointed school uniforms, nappies and white bread haven't been zero rated. The group Nokolomfoka joins me now in studio to expand on this conversation. A very happy Friday to you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. When the finance minister uh, made this announcement, what was going on in your mind? Um, it was, it was, it's very exciting to see that something that has been on the cards since 2011, because the first announcement of rolling out free sanitary pads to girls in low-income schools was made in 2011. Mm. And from 2011 till now, nothing has happened. Mm. And the only place we've seen such a rollout happening is KZN. So it was very exciting to see that the minister is committing to taking this on and actually making sure that it becomes a reality. Mm. Because girls are missing school because of going on their period, which is a natural thing that shouldn't be in the way of you living your life mm. like any other person who's from a high income background. Girls are missing three to five days of school every month because they're on their period. It's mm. not right. And mm. it's, it's very exciting to see that the minister is taking it on and that it's going to be rolled out. So finally joining other uh, countries on the continent, the likes of Nigeria and Kenya, who've led the way with this is concerned, but you feel it's not enough? Um, the thing is, um, no woman or person with a uterus chooses to go on their period. It's a natural thing, and we have to go through this for about 40 years of our lives. Stats say that you use about 17,000 sanitary pads in your lifetime at the cost of about 2 rand 33 cent per um, sanitary pad, which goes up to about 40K at the end of your life, you know. Um, and so for sanitary pads to still be something that is considered a luxury in our country is still very, it's still very sad. It's a step in the right direction for the vet on um, sanitary pads to have been removed by the minister, mm -hmm. but we still need more. We mm -hmm. still need um, the Department of Health, government, the president to commit to helping low-income women because it's not only the, the girls in school that need this type of intervention. There's a lot of women, the ones we represent as Amanda Mombe, our core membership is black, low-income women. And so um, we need more interventions that are going to assist even greater groups of women and not just girls in school, but we do welcome this step. We say it's a step in the right direction and it can only get better from here. Let's talk about the work that Amanda Mobi uh, actually does and talk about some of the challenges uh, that these women face. Um, so Amanda Mobi started campaigning on um, access to free sanitary pads in um, low-income schools in 2016. Um, most of you would have seen the revolutionary pad, the big one, yeah. um, that goes around. We've, we've been, um, so our members since 2016, members asked Amanda Mobi to start a campaign uh, in support of girls from low income schools. Mm -hmm. And the campaign over the years, members have signed petitions, members have shared online, and members have gone to actual protests. The pad has been seen outside of the union buildings. We protested outside um, of parliament, and that led to an actual, um, uh, it led to the Minister of Women and the Department of Women um, actually holding uh, a program whereby um, this was discussed in depth and such interventions come from that. Mm. And so um, Amanda.Mobi over the years has been campaigning and trying very hard to pressure the government into um, actually implementing the promise of 2011. Yeah. Um, some of the things that we see is that girl children, in order to avoid bleeding through their school uniform, will use anything from rags to newspapers just to make sure that they don't bleed through their uniforms and that on its own takes a toll on your dignity. Yeah. How are you supposed to learn? How are you supposed to make, um, <laughs> produce the same amount of work that another child in a high income background mm -hmm. does and mm -hmm. also like perform in the same manner that other kids are performing in other mm -hmm. schools if you are worried about bleeding. Mm. You are worried about your dignity. You are worried about the stigma you're going to face if you bleed through your uniform. Mm. So it's very important that women don't have to deal with that. Mm. It's very important that our government takes it seriously, that our dignity shouldn't be affected by small things such as pads. Yeah. Because in the grand scheme of things, there are much more difficulties that a black low-income woman in this country faces that also need to be dealt with. Mm. But this is a step in the right direction. These are the basic things that women need um, to get through their life. Mm.
I completely agree with you. On a monthly basis, your uterus is showing you flames. The mm. last thing you need to be worried about uh, is that, and it's very disappointing and scary that we're still uh, at this point in our lives where we find that, you know, this mm. access to sanitary pads uh, is still a problem. And goes uh, for so joining much. us. Uh, Nokolo Mfokwa, uh, campaigner with Amanda Mobi on that vet-free on uh, sanitary uh, pads.